I recently tweeted that we aren't going to be replaced by artificial intelligence, not yet, but we are sure to be replaced by people that leverage artificial intelligence. Take a moment to think about it. And no, I am not talking about having simple conversations with chat GPT, because believe it or not, that's actually one of the most basic forms of leveraging AI. If you're still listening to your favorite old school marketing guru preaching how AI is not a big deal because it's not human or it doesn't have emotions and many other similar claims, you will most definitely fall behind. In fact, that's the whole point. AI is superior in many ways over us humans because of its decision-making process that involves logic over emotions. That's the beauty of it. Honestly, it is already a major part of our lives and this relationship will only deepen over time. Now, in the context of Facebook advertising, your Facebook algorithm recommending content is AI. When you run Facebook ads on a broad campaign, the targeting is done by AI. Heck, even this voiceover is AI. I don't sound like Dwayne Johnson. This isn't even my voice. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mo. I'm a lawyer turned creative strategist turned agency owner. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys three AI tools and- A truly unconventional method of spying on your competitors using artificial intelligence, giving you an unfair advantage to create winning Facebook ads. I've actually not come across anyone else talk about these methods. And yeah, you probably guessed that I'm also gonna share how you can clone voices using AI. This video is not sponsored, so everything that I'm gonna share with you guys today is my own personal opinion. So with all of that being said and done, let's get started. All right, so the first tool on our list is called Full Play. Hiya. The name is pretty interesting. Jokes aside, your chances of creating a high performing or a winning Facebook ad really depends on how well you research your competitors, your audiences, and your own brand. It's simple. If you want to win, you need to do your homework and research. Now, when I first encountered Foreplay, to me, it looked like just another ad swipe file tool, but it does have these really unique features that's completely changed the way me and the team conduct research. First one is this AI search bar within the community ad library. Having the ability to search up a keyword and an ad showing up right after, it's like the Google of ad libraries. I found multiple winning ideas. I've come across competitors I didn't even know existed. Using this one feature is such a simple thing, but it saves hours of research time for me. But I'm not really here to talk about the conventional stuff. What I'm interested in something completely different. Have you ever looked at a competitor ad and thought, ooh. I wish I could copy this advert without copying this advert. Well, you're in luck because that's exactly what we will do in the upcoming section of this video. So let's just say I found an ad from my AI search results. We're going to go ahead and save the ad using Foreplay. The thing about Foreplay is not only does it save the ad, it also saves the metadata. Meaning now I've got access to the ad, the body copy, headline, and even the landing page information. The best thing is it's saved in retrospect, so even if the brand stops running the ad, I'm still gonna find it in my full play library. This data here is what we're gonna leverage using AI. And this is where it gets interesting. What I'm gonna do is download this Dr. Squatch app. Click of a button and you've got your ad downloaded. And then pop it into our second tool, which is called Descript. A little background about Descript. So Descript is this AI tool that started out as a subtitle generator. It's now evolved into a video editor. I'd say this with a lot of confidence and that is this is by far one of the easiest video editing tools that I've used. It's not the video editing part that we're focusing on. What I want to leverage is this crazy accurate and super fast transcription tool powered by artificial intelligence that's built inside of Descript. We're gonna transcribe the Dr. Squatch ad that we've downloaded and we are going to take that script, pop into ChatGPT to reverse engineer it using this prompt. Analyze the script. Insert script here. Study the neuro-linguistic programming of the script and rewrite for me a similar script for a product description product called product brand name. So I've taken the script and the prompt and I've put it into ChatGPT. This is what it looks like. For our product description, we've got hydrating skincare serum. And for our product name, we've got most beauty. So what this method is doing is it's analyzing the Dr. Squatch ad and it's gonna tell us the methods they've used to write their ad script. Super helpful if you want to understand how big DTC brands write winning ad creatives. But not only that, it's also gonna give us a script that's similar to the one that we're analyzing. How cool is that? What you've just seen is AI analyzing an ad from Dr. Squatch and generating a script, a script that looks and sounds like something I genuinely test as an ad. And it still baffles me to this day how people still underestimate ChatGPT. If you learn how to use this tool, the possibilities are endless. But yeah, now that I've got my script, I'm gonna come back to Descript again, and I'm gonna use the overdub functionality. So this is essentially what you've heard at the start of this video. You can clone 
voices using AI. And the way it works is really simple. So what you need to do is input some high quality voice samples of the voice you want to clone. And then you can easily create voiceovers like these that sound ultra realistic and can also be modified to consider emotions, cadence, speed, and much more. Now, something that you want to make sure before you clone someone's voice, you want to grab the legal rights to use the voice, especially if you're gonna put paid spend behind it. Stay ahead of the competition and get contract signed before you clone someone's voice. Or end up in jail just like me. The choice is yours. Now the third tool I've definitely heard and seen a lot of people talk about it on TikTok, on Instagram, and that is NVIDIA Broadcast. What it does is it turns audio that sounds like this to studio quality. This is super useful for us. And I'm pretty sure this is useful for any other brand or an agency that sources UGC ads. The fact that UGC ads are shot on the phone, although there's not much issues with the camera quality, a lot of back and forth with creators having to reshoot content all because of the sound quality. I've heard echoey voiceovers. I've heard roadworks happening in the background and even some pretty questionable background noises as well. So it's safe to say that this tool saves us not only a lot of time and money, but also a lot of hassle. Now, something else that I'm looking forward to is generative AI for video production, which I think will take not only filmmaking, but also like ad production to a whole another level. I'd say in a year or two years time, we'll definitely have something tangible to play around with. And look, if you're someone that wants to stay updated on these AI trends, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Having said and done all of the above, one thing I want to make very clear is don't try and cut corners using AI. If your strategy, if your base foundation is weak, AI will not save your ass. If you want to learn more about creative strategy, I've actually got a video that talks about my whole creative strategy process. Go check it out.